Brazil's maritime security challenges are expanding in scale, complexity, and strategic importance. With a coastline stretching more than 7,000 kilometers and the vast resource-rich Blue Amazon under constant pressure from illegal fishing, trafficking networks, and the persistent need to protect offshore energy infrastructure, the ability to maintain a modern maritime patrol capability is not simply a military requirement, but a national imperative. For more than a decade, the P3AM Orion has served as the backbone of Brazil's long-range maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, and exclusive economic zone monitoring. Yet time is catching up with the Orion. Even with life extension programs and recent structural refurbishments, the aircraft is reaching the outer limits of what upgrades can achieve. This moment of transition is pushing Brazil toward an important strategic choice. Whether to acquire a foreign aircraft, such as the P-8 Poseidon, or to pursue a sovereign path by developing an indigenous maritime patrol platform built upon Brazilian industrial capability. For many analysts and much of the defense community, the real question is not what the next aircraft should be, but whether Embraer can deliver a long-term solution that aligns with Brazil's national interests, industrial ambitions, and vision for the 2030 to 2035 period. The P3AM modernization effort, while technically successful, offers important lessons. The aircraft underwent structural renewal, new mission systems, and sensor improvements that brought it closer to the requirements of modern maritime surveillance. But the process also highlighted the high cost and limited scalability of sustaining a platform whose basic structural design dates back to the 1960s. Even after ruining projects and avionics updates, the Orion faces the inherent limitations of an aging airframe. Every new upgrade extends its service life only marginally while absorbing substantial financial and industrial resources. This dynamic has encouraged the Brazilian Air Force to develop a forward-looking plan that ensures continuity of capability while avoiding excessive sunk costs in a legacy system. It is here that Embraer enters the strategic picture. Embraer's role in Brazil's defense ecosystem extends far beyond aircraft manufacturing. It stands at the center of a broader national ambition to elevate Brazil from a regional defense producer to a global, high-technology defense supplier capable of shaping international markets. The success of the C-390 Millennium, Super Tucano, and a range of airborne systems demonstrates the level of technological maturity the company has achieved. For Brazil, the possibility of an Embraer-led maritime patrol aircraft program is about far more than replacing the P-3AM. It is about asserting long-term autonomy in a capability that directly affects national sovereignty. A natural starting point for such a program would be the C-390 platform. Its payload, range, and operational robustness make it a strong candidate for conversion into a maritime patrol and anti-submarine warfare aircraft. The airframe is modern, fuel efficient, and already proven across multiple international customers. With its open architecture avionics suite, modular mission bay options and strong industrial support chain, the C-390 could be adapted into a platform capable of carrying advanced surface search radars, electro-optical systems, magnetic anomaly detection booms, sauna boys, and underwing munitions such as torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Creating a C-390 maritime patrol variant would allow Brazil to build a sovereign solution tailored to the unique demands of its maritime environment rather than relying on a standardized foreign design optimized for different operational theaters. 
A central advantage of a domestically developed maritime patrol platform is the industrial leverage it generates. Every major international maritime patrol aircraft program has created technological spillover effects that benefit aerospace, electronics, software engineering, and systems integration industries. A Brazilian program would follow the same pattern, expanding domestic capacity in mission system development, artificial intelligence-enabled detection algorithms, long-range communication links, and acoustic processing. Embraer is capable of leading such an effort, but a comprehensive national investment program would likely be required, linking the company with Air Force research centers, naval anti-submarine warfare experts, and civilian universities. The technological dividends of such a program would extend beyond defense, contributing to Brazil's broader strategic objective of strengthening national high technology industry and reducing dependency on imported innovation. The international implications are equally significant. A Brazilian-made maritime patrol aircraft would appeal to countries in Latin America, Africa, and parts of Asia that face maritime security challenges but cannot afford extremely expensive platforms such as the P-8 Poseidon. A C-390-based maritime patrol aircraft could fill a global capability gap, a modern, reliable, and cost-effective long-range patrol solution available without the political constraints that often accompany foreign military sales from major powers. This positions Brazil not only as a capable defender of its own waters, but as a contributor to regional maritime stability and a global exporter of advanced defense systems. Brazilian public opinion has been relatively quiet on the topic of the P3AM transition. Unlike high-profile issues such as domestic security or political matters, maritime patrol capability rarely attracts public scrutiny. Yet this silence should not be mistaken for lack of strategic importance. As offshore oil production increases and illegal maritime activity becomes more sophisticated, Brazil's ability to secure the Blue Amazon will depend heavily on its airborne patrol assets. A modern, Brazilian-built aircraft would send a strong signal to both domestic and international audiences that Brazil intends to take full ownership of its maritime security responsibilities. Over the next decade, Brazil's maritime domain will only grow more economically valuable and more geopolitically contested. Global powers are modernizing their fleets. Multinational energy companies continue to expand offshore investments, and transnational criminal networks adapt rapidly to enforcement pressure. The replacement of the P3AM is therefore not simply a procurement decision. It is a strategic inflection point. The choices Brazil makes now will shape not just the aircraft it flies, but the technological independence it cultivates, the industrial strength it develops, and the regional influence it projects. Embraer stands as the fulcrum of this future. Its success in producing a maritime patrol aircraft would redefine Brazil's aerospace industry and potentially replicate the global influence achieved by platforms such as the Super Tucano and the C-390. It would give the Brazilian Air Force a modern, sovereign capability that can be upgraded continuously without reliance on external suppliers. And it would strengthen Brazil's long-term ability to defend its maritime territory, protect offshore infrastructure, and monitor the vast expanse of the blue Amazon. The transition away from the P3AM is inevitable. The real decision lies in how Brazil chooses to shape the future beyond it. A domestically developed maritime patrol aircraft represents a path aligned with Brazil's long-term interests, strategic autonomy, industrial growth, export potential, and national pride. 
The next decade will determine whether Brazil seizes this opportunity. The country possesses the capability, the need, and the industrial foundation. What remains is the political will and strategic vision to transform that potential into a defining national achievement.